Hi guys, Nev Rodder back from Mega Bowls. Now, this is episode two, and I've been uh, I've been saving this episode and keeping it in my sleeve for quite a long time. Um, I thought I'd pull the um, veil of uh, secrecy back a little bit. Um, now, I wouldn't say that it's been kept secret, secret deliberately. I'd just be thinking that um, some of the best players around do this, and although it's uh, not spoken about. I've been reverse engineering bowls deliveries for a long time, been trying a lot of things, experimenting, and by far, this had the greatest effect on my game than anything else. Now, I want you to think that this is a target sport. We're in the game of hitting a 50 cent or 10 cent piece or a mark on the green hundreds of times in a row um, in, in any one given day. So you need to be able to hit your marks, keep everything stable, and do it consistently. Now, I want you to think of this. We're connected to the ground, gravity connects us to the ground. I want you to think that if I'm to hit a target X amount of feet away, and in the game of lawn bowls, it can be 30 to 40 feet, um, how are you gonna consistently get close or group your bowls closely if you're not doing the same thing every time, but that is generally made happen. Okay, sorry. Now I want you to think about it. We're actually connected to the ground. Gravity holds us to the earth. Um, and if you're gonna consistently deliver a bowl out towards its line and hit a mark consistently, you need to have a really good grip on the ground. Because at the moment, right, the traditional way of actually teaching a stance is to stand parallel towards your target like this and step out towards your target line. Now the thing is, our center of gravity is really high. And when you have a high centre of gravity, what generally wants to happen is the head, the top wants to sway. The same as, say, the Empire State Building. The top is going to sway. We're the same. Now, sure, people can have a slight advantage, but say I'm 5 foot 10, I've, you know, I'm pretty happy to be this height in bowls because I've got a low centre of gravity. But what I need to be able to do is I need to be able to have a really solid stance at the base. And if you can imagine you've got a pole that's only as wide as your foot, okay, so it's about this wide. If I double the width of that pole, how much is it going to move at the top? And you're thinking, am I sure? It's not going to move very much at all. Okay. So what I'm going to teach you now, I've actually coined it, the shooter stance. It's a rifleman stance. Because if you're a rifleman, right, you need to have superior balance because you're shooting a bullet that's as big as, say, your little fingernail. You're hitting a target, it might be, I don't know, two or three hundred yards away. Any movement, including your heartbeat, and this is why they shoot in between heartbeat to elite, elite uh, shooters or marksmen, um, any movement whatsoever, they're going to miss their target. Now, I'm going to teach you the same thing that I do, that many other people do in Australia, and I'm going to, in the future, I'm going to bring up some videos, and I'm going to do some circling and show you people in the past that do this, um, likes of uh, Alcock and Bryant, and you just have a look, all right? When you do this, you are going to be a hell of a player because it all starts from balance. So come here, show us a look. So, show you just one thing. Okay. So traditionally, okay, traditionally I was taught, and this is how Bowls Australia and whoever decided to make up how to put a lawn bowl down. I don't know how they made that up, but they would get us to point our feet directly out towards our target. Okay and aim with your right foot if you're a right-hander. So if you're left foot, you aim with your left. Uh, if you're left-hander, uh, you aim with your left foot. So they want us to aim with our right foot out towards our target line. Yeah, and that's okay, no problem. But what I found over time was I was having 90% weight on this foot here. And when you go, when you load that up with 95% of your weight on your, this ball area here of your foot, you, you're swaying. You've, you've got really bad balance. It's like getting on a skateboard and trying to balance on your toes like this. If you, what I decided was, if you turn your feet and turn your right foot, right, Shay, come up here. Okay, just wanna come up here, Shay. Yeah. Right, if you actually stop aiming with your right foot, Right, traditionally like that, aim towards my target line. If you turn that foot completely and completely eliminate your right foot from aiming and focus on your right foot being all about balance, just balance, you'll find that when you do that, you've doubled the width, the same as that pole we're talking about, okay? 
And you find because you've got such a steady, solid foundation on the ground, you can actually lean over, okay, and you can get your head over the top of the bowl. Now, when you get the head over the top of the bowl, you can actually see where your arm is swinging to and point the center of your running surface out towards your target line, right? So you haven't just got superior balance, you then have superior line control, which equates to superior weight control because your balance is superior and your line is better because your head is over the top of the bowl and you can just shoot that bowl out like it's coming out of a ramp. Seriously, this is huge, right? And you've got to try this, okay? So we throw the Bowls Australia manuals or the, you know, the, the 100 year old how to play bowls manuals, we chuck them in the bin, start doing this, and I guarantee you're going to improve 20 to 30%. Right, head over top of the bowl, out towards my target line. Right, since doing that, a bad bowl is when you miss your line by six inches, in terms of six inches up the other end. So I know within an inch where my bowl's gonna go. Right, so what we'll do now is I'll get a disc. Okay, four to five metres out. Out there. Now this is, this is all I've got to do for my line. Okay, point the bowl, right, stance, balance. Bend my knee slightly, compress my body weight into the ground. Head over the top of the bowl so I can see where it's aiming. Now I'll go to the aim at that mark. Over the disc. And you'll find. Right? And you'll find you'll be able to do that 50 times in a row. No problem. Because your balance is amazing. Your head's over the top of the bowl. You can see exactly where the bowl's going to go every time. And you'll find that you no longer miss your line. Your weight becomes better everything becomes easier. And those for you that have a little bit of trouble with balance or you're a funny shape because they're all a little bit different, I'd certainly be recommending you do this um, because you can move your hips out of the way at the same time because when I do this, okay, where are my hips going? They're turning around my body. So see that there? Look at that. Look at that. Head over the top. Right, over the bowl. Look at this. Is that there? Head over the bowl, like that. What's going on there? Everything's out of the way. I've got, an ama I've got amazing balance. Looking at my point, head down. Bang, straight out towards my line. So that's lesson number two. That's one of the biggest lessons you'll ever have in this game. This is up to you to decide if it's good or it, it's good for you or it doesn't work. It works for me. It works for everybody that I coach. I'm gonna put in some footage behind this of a guy that I showed that plays, what, two, once or twice a month, if that, because he's more of a golfer. Um, he's having fantastic success with it, and everybody that I coach personally has a massive success with this. So it's never for mega bowls, shoot a stance, gotta do it. Share this video and subscribe, because this is just the beginning. Thanks.